Hello, welcome to another video. It's been a little while, so it may take me a little minute to get back to talking on camera. Um, if you've seen before, the, this is my parents' house and it's in the Isle of Man and it was done by Elliot Constructions. My name's Sam and Holly's behind the camera. Uh, so what they've done is they've converted an old barn and it's on a working yard. And just to give a little bit more room, they've given this cladding extension, like a nice mahogany color. I think you can see that on the camera. Uh, and it's also allowed for a balcony up there. It's a little bit windy, so I think we'll just go inside so I'm not shouting too loud. Um, as we go inside, they've got a lovely little gnome that uh, my dad bought. Uh, Isle of Man's famous for the TT, so that's why it's on a bike. <laughs> and then uh, a friend of theirs also got this doorbell, which is really fun. Um, yeah, so nice. We've come over here for Christmas. Last Christmas we didn't get to have with the parents, so it's been really nice to come over here. And, well, let's just get inside and see the rest. <laughs> Now we're inside, I'm going to put on my comfy shoes that I got from Holly. Lovely Crocs. <laughs> um, so it's a working house, they've got horses, uh, it's muddy all the time, so we've tried to clean a little bit, but it's, it is what it is, so don't judge us. Um, this room is really nice, it allows in loads of daylight, and it's just, I think it's really nice to have that connection with the outside. Uh, when you come back from a night out, you've got Henry waiting for you. Um, we'll show you the lighting later because it, it's, uh, all the lighting in the house is really nice. And although this is lovely, at night time it's even, even more amazing. So we want to show both of those. Um, the staircase is absolutely brilliant. And the varnish to it is the same with all the other wooden finishes, really. Come on, Henry. Henry, up here. Uh, we also got Christmas decorations up at the minute. As we said, uh, we weren't here for last Christmas, but we're in now, so that's really nice. Upstairs, <laughs> it's an upside down house, so upstairs is the living room and the kitchen, and you're in for a treat. If you saw the last one, you may, or follow us on Instagram, you may have seen that there we've got this lovely fireplace, which is just such a feature to the room. I suppose you're all right? Yeah, <laughs> and then this massive window, which, oh my God, is so nice. Sitting here, looking out. My dad's got some binoculars, and he also got me some binoculars, and you can see the sea on a clear day, um, and it's just absolutely brilliant. When we look at the comfortings, we've got a lovely bespoke sofa, which is leather in this sort of tartany grey. Grey's a very common theme. My mum loves tartan and grey. <laughs> Hello. Um, yeah, lovely rug on this wooden floor. The wooden floor is the same throughout the house as well. Um, and there's also this bespoke chair, which is absolutely stunning and makes you feel like an old granddad sitting in front of the telly. Oh, that's bright. Uh, so as I stated before, we have got the balcony outside. So let's go check that out. Uh, just as we're going out to the balcony, massive lovely Christmas tree. As I said, the parents have gone full out for Christmas this year and it's, it's made coming here and feeling Christmassy like absolutely brilliant. Uh, don't need to talk about the telly. That can Quack. off. Oh, shouldn't swear. I'll beat that out. Um, going out onto the balcony. Come on, Henry. Um, this is lovely. They haven't done this yet. Not everything in the house is done. There's going to be glass balustrades all the way around um, so that it doesn't ruin the view at all with like no bar. So even when they are sat on chairs, it's going to be lovely. But I think you can agree, like the point of having this with the horses there, it's just so nice. And it's always windy in the Isle of Man, but that's why the glass balustrades are going to be there also to make this a little bit more comfy. Um, camera won't come out, but We'll, uh, we'll show you the wooden stonework because it's so nice and they've kept all the original ones. Some of it came back down and came back up and I think you can see that on the front of the house. Um, but, stunning. Luli! <laughs> right, uh, now we'll show you the kitchen. So in from the balcony and yes, towards the kitchen, but first let's look at these massive beams which go the whole way through, they are actually supporting, but they can take my weight, so 
they're doing a good job. Um, and we've also got lovely hanging lights the whole way along, which are quite a nice temperature, especially for chilling in the evening. Uh, as we come through, we've got the dining room table, which is actually the same dining room table that we had in our old house. Uh, all they did was get new chairs, um, which have a nice cushion on it, grey, like the flooring, which is also in there. Um, and then the kitchen. I think everybody's dream is to have an island uh, breakfast bar type thing in the kitchen. And this is so nice. When we first got here, I just came and sat down here with all my stuff and it was uh it's lovely just absolutely love it uh you can sit out and have breakfast and look out towards the horses see if they're up to anything um the wall thickness is just mad uh which also allow <laughs> the wall thickness is mad which allows for loads of space for loads of photos and everything which is just lovely Although you got the fire, we got lovely heating, lovely heating, just saying loads of stuff. Good radiators, tall radiators, they look lovely. Um, all the cabinets are like a blue-gray, keeping with that gray theme. And the fridge, which is very full at the minute, hidden. The dishwasher's hidden, um, the tumble dryer's hidden. Um, and then this door, which it isn't ready yet, but you have to duck underneath and then you go to what is going to be a balcony, but that's not done yet. But there is a lot of stuff in the house which is going to be done eventually. Um, and then we come, we've got double ovens, which have this lovely pull out into it. Uh, microwave, induction hob, which is a funny story with my mum not realising that the pots and pans that we already had weren't induction hob, so we haven't got all the pots and pans that we need. Um, but the kitchen's just so good uh, and yeah we come along here's the window and then we've got the double sink which we also had in our old house um, and we're just going to go downstairs and Holly's going to take over the bedroom So we're back down in the main entrance now. So we've got a boiler room as you walk in. Um, brilliant for just storing things, putting wet shoes, wet coats in there, make it nice and dry and warm. And then we've got the lovely coat rack, which they actually had in Abingdon, so they've brought that back over, which is really nice. It's not usually this full, because the kids are here. Um, but you've got loads of place to store coats, all the shoes underneath, and a lovely mirror to check yourself out before you go out on the town. Coming into the master bedroom, which, as you can see, is absolutely humongous. Uh, it's gorgeous. You've got these lovely windows at the front, which they're thinking of getting some privacy film over, because obviously at the moment people walking past can just look straight in. But just to draw these back and look out at the sun coming in on a morning is just lovely. Lovely bedding, massive bed again, which they brought back from Abingdon with them. Um, and then moving round over here, the carpet uh, all the way through downstairs has also got underfloor heating, which is, I can tell you, divine in the winter in the Isle of Man. Lovely. Coming into their ensuite. So you've got kind of two moods of lighting for the ambiance. You've got obviously main lighting and then there's kind of this lowered lighting, which is really nice when you just want to chill in here. Mr. and Mrs. Sinks, which is lovely. Obviously mirrors are yet to come. These lights also come on for the, for the ambiance lighting. Um, yeah, again, heated towel rack in all the bathrooms, which is lovely. And the gray two-tone, which obviously Juliet loves because gray is her favorite color, but this is really nice. And then, I will probably say the main attraction, the bath. And let me tell you, it's the best bath you will ever get in, in your life. 
it is amazing. Um, love kind of all the detailing and the knobs, which is just lovely. Um, yeah, just to chill in here with all the bubbles, you just feel so relaxed. So coming back through, we come into the first bedroom, which is Molly's bedroom. So we've got a lovely tartan theme going on. Again, the underfloor heating. Obviously, there's more furniture that needs to be added, some wardrobes and stuff. Um, so obviously we're having to put some stuff on the floor at the moment, but as you can see, another massive room with so much space. Um, and then we come into the second bathroom, which you will see again has the same tiles as the bathroom before with the two-tone, which is lovely that it kind of carries through. Um, we've got some lovely little bee ornaments, keeping with the bee theme. Bees are very in right now. Uh, we need a mirror on this wall. Again, it's still a work in progress, this house, which is so lovely. There's always gonna be things that you need to add to it, um, which is really nice. So yeah, a mirror, um, and then <laughs> the shower. It's gorgeous. Again, the same kind of detailing on the knobs as the bathroom before. And Sam made a really good point. It's really nice because they used to have this back in Abingdon. So it's kind of carried over from the other house. But you've got two showers. You've got the one that you can move and then you've got the overhead shower. And it's just lovely just to stand there and just feel free and relaxed. Again, heated towel rack, which is lovely. And going through here. So, this is actually a Jack and Jill bathroom, which leads into Sam and mine's bedroom. Sam didn't know the term Jack and Jill bathroom beforehand. I did, but he didn't. So you come through into Sam and mine's bedroom, which is lovely. We've got um, this shelf on this side of the wall. There was the option to build into it, but Paul and Juliet decided to keep it there, which I really, really like. So you can use for storage. Um, you can put some furniture up there, loads of lovely photos. We're probably the best off actually with the amount of furniture we've got in this room, which is very lucky. Um, but I know they want to add some more. Again, bedding, again, keeping with the B theme. We love it. And like Paul and Juliet's bedroom, this gorgeous window at the front. Again, they'll put the privacy film over it. Um, so yeah, and then you come back through this way. So we've done a full loop of the downstairs and you're back to the main entrance. So they're just outside doing the horses at the moment, getting them ready. Me and Sam have been taken in turns to ride Eli, Eli and Molly's been riding him both days. So let's go out and see what they're up to. You're just going to keep it on me. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It's the family. All working. <laughs> Not really. We're just, we're just going to close off the video and then we'll come. <laughs> You're slipping, Holly. Uh, We've got Lula over here. This is the horse that Molly's had the longest, and then Eli's the one that we're going to be riding. Um, but it's such a good field that they've got, and it's so close to the house, so it's just absolutely brilliant. Um, they're looking at me a bit weirdly, like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? So if Holly, if you just follow around me, and then you can have a look at the outbuildings. <laughs> you scared of being too close to Lula? You're all right. Hi, all right? And that's the outbuildings, which the horses are in a lot of the time. Uh, it is very windy out here, so I'm not sure how this is gonna be. Um, hopefully that was fun looking at the house. As I said, really proud of the parents for doing it um, and coming over from Oxford. It's always gonna be a place we can come over, which is just gonna be lovely. Uh, and 2022, here we go. Hopefully we'll do quite a few videos and hope you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoy the future ones. And thank you for watching. See ya.